Hi guys, welcome back, Peter Webster here again. Um, an unboxing today. Now uh, this is from a friend of a friend. Um, well, I've had two parcels today, this one and this one here. Now these in here, I've never had them before, but I was spurred on by the lovely guy at Oddball Exotics, or Oddball Inverse, I believe it is. And these are German Florida Katydids. Then the nymphs. There's one at the top there. And I have two of these. They get to about four inches in length when they're fully grown. And they chirp like mad animals. So, luckily, I'm out in the garden. And we won't hear them at night time in, this, in the house. So, these will be getting a new setup very soon. Feed off Bramble, as you can see. And, like I say, giant Florida Katie did. <coughs> it's an overgrown grasshopper, really, from Florida. Right, let's get into this next box. I know one thing in here. Just on all the unpacking, maybe. Okay. Um. Okay. That's different. Uh, a. Yeah, we have a, a spider bath fizzer. I'm sure one of the girls will take care of that. Some bits of cork bark. Bit of a mixed bag, this. So if somebody knows I like cork bark. Uh, part of a skull from some sort of uh, horned animal. Right, we might find some something live in a minute. Let's have a look what we got wrapped up in here. Dead nap. Let's have a look. See if this is what I've ordered. Well, there's two, whatever it is. I just uh, quickly nip that. Okay. One. I've never heard of the name of that one. I don't know the name of this one. Oh. I presume this is a false widow. Yeah, a stentoed uh, Pay Culliana. See if I can take a quick peek without anything running out. What the hell? I'm confused. Will you stay in there? Thank you. Little bugger. Yes, 
definitely a false widow. Might just about see it up in the top there. Okay, there's a false widow there. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Right, okay. That must have been putting there then to for it to climb on. Okay, now this one here, I'm wondering if this is what I ordered. Uh, I'm just going to show you quickly down the camera if you can see that once you don't jump out of okay and I believe that is what I ordered which is a African wandering spider so we'll see <laughs> lovely if this is what's in here, I've got to be careful. It says H Minax on the top. But we'll have a look anyway. I'll just bear in mind that it could be an H Minax. If it is, it won't be a very, a very uh, long-winded look at this. So I don't fancy getting tagged by a minax. I'm just trying to feed, feed some tissue out. Yes, definitely a minax. Oh, feisty little shit. There with me guys. There you go. Put that back in there. Yep. We have a minax. side of the top. Um, I want to show you this one. Uh, you might be able to see it down there. And I said yes. Lovely looking spider. But uh, not going to take no chances with it. Uh, just seeing if it's got any spurs. Doesn't look like it, and it hasn't got any bulbous petty palps, so it's not a mature male. So, there we go, guys. Oh, go like that. You're going back in there for a while, along with these, to keep you cool in this hot weather. So, we have a false widow, an African wandering spider and an upper palm of minax which is the Thai black so oh and uh, also I might as well put the cage in here as well T 
two giant flying decatur dids. It's only a quick unboxing guys. But um, I am going to put that on the top because I don't want that my neck's getting out. And I will be back with another video possibly over the weekend now so on Friday and um, I've got quite a few bits to do I've got to get the inverterium cleaned out rearrange a few things because I have visitors coming next week to see my collection which I'm really excited about and I'll be also having something bought with them as well for me we have no idea what it is so I hope you've enjoyed this little video guys um, like comment and subscribe share the videos uh, we're at 850 something subscribers now not not far to go to get a thousand and I believe I have one prize ready for the thousand uh, sub giveaway which is very exciting prize and very expensive um, and I will be doing a mystery box along with that prize as well which I'll have sent direct UK only I'm afraid guys even for the, the item that's not um, alive due to the fact that I'm, I can't afford to pay um, customs charges I've just been done for that I had to pay £35 to get a 3 ounce packet from America um, and that didn't go down well at all but I'm going to do my who are my videos soon so if there's any questions you'd like to ask me and I'll answer them in the video I'll just pop them in the comments uh, I will be going to the Birmingham show this weekend, Sunday, at the Edgebaston Cricket Club, which is the Birmingham Entomological Society. Uh, I'm hoping to bump into Oddball Inverts there. And anybody else who's going, if you see me, I won't be walking around this time, guys. I'll have, me, well, I'll have a white t-shirt on with, uh, with my logo here. Yeah. But I'll be sitting in a powered wheelchair, I'm afraid. Because after the fall at the BTS, I'm not prepared to risk any further injuries. I've, I've not long got over that. So I've got myself a powered chair now that I can just top round the show on. If I see something I like, I'll, I shall obviously get out of the chair and have, have, have a look. But I'm hoping that I don't get stared at or glared at because people will see me go around in this chair and then they'll probably see me going out of the chair to look at things and think what, what's his ticket well I'm physically disabled and registered disabled so I don't see any reason why I shouldn't take advantage of the things that are on offer I've had a few comments when I said that I was having it saying am I, am I getting it free off the social security and the answer to that is no I've paid for this with my own money I haven't had a loan for it or anything like that and it hasn't been issued by the government it's 100% mine i paid for it in my own money so anybody out there who sees me at the show, come over, say hello, I'll get out of the chair, shake you and give you a hug if you want. Um, but yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm going to be. It's the first time I've gone to a show and I'm looking forward to going around the show without having to worry about falling over or passing out, which come very close at BTS. As most of you know, some of you probably wouldn't, my new subscribers, which I've had quite a few lately, thank you. At the end of the BTS, 
well, it was only an hour into the BTS, we had to get out to the car quick. And three foot from the car, literally passed out and face planted in the dirt. Uh, knocking me about a bit. So, I got out just in the nick of time. And I don't want that to happen again. So guys, those of you who go Sunday, please come say hello. Have a picture with me. I'll, I always get my pictures printed and go into frames and they're being put around the inverterium to remind me of all you guys. Which is one thing that I've got to get stuck into soon. I've got 10 frames underneath me which have got to have pictures put in them. And then, uh, yeah, have a great time Sunday guys and hopefully I'll see you there. So from me, Peter Webster. Thanks for watching the video. So it wasn't fantastic, but it was an unboxing nevertheless. And I will catch you all again on the next one. Bye guys.